Mike, we're, we're here at Orium as we prepare for the for the match with Ireland this week. How's preparations going for for this uh, game in the Six Nations? It's been really good. Uh, we had a. A week with a few of the players last week, um, able to look at a few things that we're going to implement this week and great to have everyone now, 39 players I think it is, big group of them, uh, lots of energy and, uh, and they've trained well. Greg, I spoke about this yesterday we were on the, on the podcast and it was about the, the depth that you guys now have now got in the number of positions. How pleased are you from a coaching point of view that you have a number of players now gunning for those positions? It's excellent. It, it raises standards across the board. What we've tried to do during the Six Nations as well is bring in some, some young players as well who, um, who will learn massively from the experience and who we see as being important players for Scotland over the next five, six years. And I saw you working with one of the young players there, Jamie Dobby. You were doing some, some scrums. Uh, you're doing some uh, scrum half uh, drills there. What's it like working with these really young guys and brought in, you know, first of all, as a part of the training squad, but now being brought into the full-time squad? What does that mean to you as a coaching team to be able to work with these young guys who are really eager to, to impress? It's brilliant. They bring a huge amount of energy. They ask excellent questions. Uh, they keep us on our toes. Um, and it's just great to see um, quality coming through and guys who are, who are willing and prepared to do the work to, to get to the top. Let's look at Ireland then this weekend, a, a team that we know well. Um, are you expecting something different from them, even though we played them in the autumn? Have you seen any changes in how they play? Um, Ireland are a, a very tough team to play against. Um, like it's, it's in their, their DNA, the way that they play. They're a very aggressive side, go hard at the breakdown, and uh, they've got a number of threats that, that we've got to, got to take on and, and, uh, and understand that they're going to be coming. There'll be some opportunities, we, we hope, for us as well, some things that we've looked at. So, uh, yeah, we know them well. I'm sure they'll have a few tricks up their sleeve against us as well, but we just need to pr prepare as well as we can. Now, we're living through unprecedented times with the, with the pandemic we're going through, and you know, the France game was postponed. So, from a coaching point of view, how does that change your preparation now that you have you know, a change of fixture? That whole week you had last week, was that beneficial to you as coaches, that you had the extra week without the players and with some players? I wouldn't say it really affects us. It's, it's a funny time when you come into Six Nations. It's a, it's a long camp. But you, like one week moves very quickly into the next week and you, you take the, the information on from a, a win or a loss and you move on. It's the same kind of thing with the French game being cancelled. You take the learnings from what you did that week, you move on. We had a fallow week and then we went into the Ireland week and it does move pretty quickly and seamlessly from one, one to the next. And obviously six day turnaround into the next game, that's going to be tight as well, but it just moves quickly. You, you learn the lessons and move on. And, and finally, Mike, you know, off the pitch, that the guys are connect and all the coaches are contained in the hotel. There's not much they can do out with. I know you you're heavily involved with keeping the guys entertained and keeping them kind of uh, in that kind of boys' joyful mood. What, what have you been up to, like in camp, to keep the guys kind of stimulated? Yeah, I, I don't think they'd agree that I was keeping them entertained. Um, I try and keep them entertained, but uh, they're a good group though because there are characters within it who'll uh, raise the energy on on days off. There's you know, not a huge amount of organised stuff going on, but we we get a coffee shop coming in. We bring all the, the chocolate treats and what have you, and um, and that kind of sets the scene for for what happens after that. So there's not not a huge amount of stuff organised. We've we've tried a few different things. Some have been successful, some not so. Uh, players will probably say a lot have been unsuccessful. That I've been involved in, but it's good fun. There's good good banter, and it it keeps the the time going.